at the the what happened today was you fished right, something right. out of the water. So, all right, cool. Uh, let right. me just. I need somebody's information here. Okay. Uh, all right, Danny, man, where are we at today? We're up here in South Chicago Heights, a little south of Chicago. This is a major dumping ground, guys. Last time we we're here, we found two fresh guns and we met some really nice officers. JJ, last time we were out here, you found a rifle, correct? Yeah, like an old 30 out six hunting rifle. Is there anything that you want to find out today? Hopefully another, a couple more. We're back out here today trying to find some more. We're gonna head over to the other side, do a little bit of walking, see what we can find over there. Then we're gonna head back over to this side and do some magnet fishing. We just got to the lower part of the waterfall. You can see there's just as much trash down here. Oh. Old cans. What's this? Oh, it's a Smirnoff bottle. We're definitely gonna put this in our trash bag. All right, guys, gonna put that in the trash bag. TV. Danny's just got a TV over here. Look at this, guys. This oh, thing it's is an old, old flat screen. It's got an old flat screen. That's crazy. And Danny's just got a bag sitting right here. Uh, it's just a trash bag, but we'll take it. What's that? Is that a J? That's cool. That was off of something. Add that in the bag as well. Look at the size of these snails down here. Well, I've never seen snails this big. We don't have them where I'm from. All right, Danny's found some more trash. Well, you find a can and uh, it looks like trash bags. There's a boat right there. No freaking way. Danny's gonna walk over there and get that boat. Is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> no way. All right, here's the boat that we found. Looks like it's an old uh, boat patrol boat. Pretty cool. All right, Danny, so what are we doing right now? I think we're gonna go ahead and head back because we reached a really deep area past our waist and I'm not seeing too much besides just garbage. We already got a full bag and the bag is starting to rip, so we want to get back before it rips all the way. All right, guys, so I just found what looks like a uh, old Budweiser bottle. I just got an Xbox controller. No way. That's insane. All right, Danny's found an Xbox controller. What'd you find? I got a tape over here. Oh, old cassette tape. My bad. Our bag's about to rip. We got too much stuff. <laughs> We're headed back, y'all. All right, so Danny's just got the magnet out, guys. I'm really excited to see what could be at the bottom of this uh, spillway right here. I mean, it could be anything here. What are you hoping to find down here, Danny? I have no clue what we could find down here, but if it's anything like the pond on the other side or lake, we're gonna find lots of crazy stuff in here. All right, there's our first cast. Whoa. Hey, we did get something, wow. It's a heart fence. It's all bent up, but that was used to be a fence at one point, that's sick. All right, our very first find today, man. Oh. All right, Danny says he's got something big coming up. What is that? It's another boot. No way, he found another boot. Last time we were out here, we found one of those. And the cops actually wanted to take it because they didn't want us getting in trouble with it. Scrap hand at the scrap yard. So if we find anything else crazy, maybe they'll take this. <laughs> oh, a catfish. Oh, he got a catfish. Oh, that was so cool. He was in there, dude. He was hiding. We always be finding them catfish. All right. So guys, it feels like I got something on here. I'm trying to drag it in. But it was all the way on the other side. You want to pull in? I'm excited to see what you're going to get. What is this? Come on. Oh, what? Oh, it's a jackhammer. It goes to a jackhammer. Yeah, this piece goes on a jackhammer, guys. Look at that. That goes to a jackhammer right there. That's a cool find. I never found one of these. And this looks like a big like piece of pipe. Not bad, though. Then we got old bottle cap. Let's try right here, because this is pretty deep, too. Oh, you got something again? Some type of, oh, it's a fishing pole, but a like high, like the inside part of it. And then a piece of rebar. Just move through the lower half of the spillway. I got something. Dane's already pulling something else up. What is that? Property spike or something oh, yeah. like that. Looks like a property uh, tie down to like a rope, maybe to a power line. Ah, very good metal. Not bad. More stuff for our pile. How deep's the water right here, Danny? I want to say almost three feet. Three feet. A lot of hidden stuff in there, as you guys seen. Oh, he's got something heavy right here. Nope. What? Is that an anchor? I ha I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh, it might be a fire hose wrapper. I don't know. That's pretty weird. If anybody knows what that is, definitely let us know down in the comments. All right, Danny's got that off. We got something big again, guys. We're pulling in. What is that? It's a big old piece of iron. That's a strange piece. We got something very heavy and long filling. Oh, look at that. We got an old hammerhead on there. We should oh, restore we that. 
That'd be cool to restore right there. That would be cool. I'll send that to Iron Antler. All right, guys, so I'm gonna grab the magnet. I'm gonna strap it on. I'm gonna see how I do out here while I magnet fish. We're finding a lot of stuff here. He's untangling the rope a little bit. Jeff is probably gonna fall in. I'm just chilling, guys. I'm sitting on this wall. I got so much air in my boot, it just pops up when I let go of my foot. Hey, I actually have something. Pretty heavy, too. What is Whoa. all this? Look at that rebar stick to that rock. That's how strong that magnet is, guys. Right through. That's crazy. We got some big magnetic rocks. Oh, I just caught a fish. <laughs> Bare hands. Look at that. Bring that guy over here. That's beautiful. Look at the fish Jeff just caught. Oh, he, was like oh, he just swam through my legs. <laughs> That's crazy. That's After Jeff about shattered the 360. <laughs> he said he has heavy oh, stuff. This is really heavy. Oh my gosh. Oh, he probably just fell back. No, it might still be on there. It's still on there. More of this uh, rebar. Throw it in the pile. Well, we got another big magnetic rock. All right, guys, so we haven't really found much more down here. I think we fished it all out. So what we're gonna do is head over across the highway and do some more magnet fishing over there. All right, guys, that's, we just got down to the other side of this lake. This is the same spot where JJ's found this rifle. What'd you find over here, JJ? Uh, saw, we got another man. saw. We found like 15, 20 of them last time we were same here. Thing with shotgun all stuff. right, well, I will start a pile right there. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at it. Oh, we got our first fishing lure today. It looks like it's a crappie lure. We also have like a screw. Oh, it's another street sign, I believe. I think that's a street sign. Yeah, it's definitely a street sign post. Oh, I got something else coming up, I believe. Maybe. Oh, I do. I got another one of these. Look. This one's a little bit smaller, but we'll definitely add to our pile. And I got a little fishing lure. Check that out. All right. All right, guys. So JJ's just found a pistol. This is a, actually an Airsoft uh, BB gun. I thought it was a real gun, like a 22, but it's still cool. He gets to keep this one. Yeah, I know. All right, guys. So last time I was here, I found this tire. I was unable to pull this up here. So since I'm down here, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up, and I'm going to get it out of the water. Oh, man. We got it out of the water. Got to lift it up there. All right, we're definitely going to take that with us today. All right, guys. So apparently Danny just found another gun here. No freaking way. It's literally the same one as mine. Not the same one, but the same. Look at remember my Same head kind head as last time. Look at this. Oh yeah, I bet there's a whole collection out there. Rifles. No way. I keep finding those shotgun pills too. What? That's like an M1 Grand or something crazy. No oh freaking God. way. Oh What's it called? Alright, so here's a closer look at the gun that Danny just found. I believe it's some type of uh, bolt action. It was in a case and everything. It's definitely been down there for a while. JJ's just found a rifle a couple weeks ago. So I imagine they probably connected because it looks like they're in the same case. If anyone knows what kind of gun this might be, definitely let us know down in the comments. All right, so Danny dipped over there. He's going to call the police real quick and get him out here. What's going on, guys? Oh, but. And then they took the boot last time. We found another one in the drain spill a little over Oh, you guys had another one before? Yeah, and then we found another rifle and a fresh Smith & Wesson like two days ago. Oh, you guys found other weapons before? Yeah, two oh, days wow. ago, literally. Jeez. Oh, the same case in this, that's why we're this one in. Oh, okay, so is this a case around it? Yeah, the other one had part of the case. So we think they tied a whole bunch of them up and threw them in there. Because it was oh. literally like 10 feet down on the So rock. you guys were what, fishing, like fishing out of it with a- Fishing with a magnet. Out of here with a magnet? Yep. Yeah, yeah. You ever heard of it? I have not heard of it, but using context clues, you know. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, it's crazy. You're just dropping a high-powered magnet in there and grabbing stuff out. Can you please nice. show well, me Well, I mean, yeah, let's we'll see if I can get a serial number off of this thing. Um, you probably won't be able to do it here, but when when you yeah. guys send it off, here's a business card. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, do you have uh oh, nice, you guys like... Yeah, do a full time, yeah. Outside. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Uh, let me just, I need somebody's information here. Okay. Uh, okay. How long you guys were out here today? Can you put my soap and one hour or two? We walked an hour for a little bit, then we fished a spillwell, and then we just picked over here and this. That was actually on the other side in the little ditch. This right here? Yeah, it says city, city of Chicago on it. Okay. So it came from a decent leeway. <laughs> yeah. Not surprised though. Cool. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm at the. I don't know where I'm going to put this in. Bigger, what about the other one? Was it uh, the same kind the, of? The other like two this? were fresh, but it was in the same casing as this one. Oh, okay. So, so we think they were together when they got tossed in. Huh. 
This one just got a little bit more uh, views. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything there. I can get a glove and scrub it. No, I got. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna grab my gloves and mess with it. But now that's in my custody. I, you know, I don't want. I don't want you guys messing with it. Yeah, we tried. There. Like I said, it's most likely you're gonna have to. They'll probably get it off or ballistics or something when they put it into when you guys ship it out to wherever you guys how, do how it. long ago did you guys find the other one huh? how long ago did you guys find the other one two days ago oh okay yeah no it's a smith and wesson with a laser red dot on it and then it was a hunting rifle with a scope it was fresh had a little bit of the casing on it we thought maybe it was in like a suitcase because we found a handle yeah yeah but now that we see that they're in these now we know what to look for yeah I, oh. at first i thought this was a shotgun but yeah, no, it's definitely a rifle. I wouldn't even know how to go about taking this thing apart. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> so you guys, do you guys send them off? Because we're from, I'm from Indiana. He's from Missouri, so they normally send them off. It just depends. It depends on like for how fresh uh, they are. Yeah, I was going to say it because I've not handled too many of these, but I would imagine that. The know, other ones literally clear it. Hey, come out the street. Uh, yeah, I would say it depends on the situation, you know. Uh, but I haven't handled that many, so. Oh uh, um, yeah, they said they'd never even heard of it yesterday. Oh, you're talking about fish, ago, no, fishing in general? Oh, okay. Yeah, they yeah. said it's crazy that we even found this. I mean, I said, well, the area, I mean, it doesn't seem that bad, but then again, you go up north a little bit, it's pretty bad. Yeah, never know. I mean, it's just... We've never found any in the lake. And the other thing, too, is that, you know, you find it here, but you never know how far things could be pushed. You know. Well, that the Smith and Wesson was right on the rocks, literally so three feet off. I oh, accidentally yeah. got snagged on a old bush and made it right on. Yeah, I pulled in and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "It's crazy." All right, cool. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna run this and then uh, I will. Uh, actually, give me a second. I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna put this thing in my truck. Man, I'm gonna get my truck all dirty with this. Uh, I'm gonna see if I got some. Got bags? I can check too. I'm gonna see if I got some. All right guys, so he is doing a little bit of information. Um, he asked me if I had any bags. I got some bags for him. Only two trash hams, bag, or only two garbage, only two grocery bags, but we did rip it apart. It looks like it's gonna be perfectly linked, so we're just waiting on him, and hopefully he can take it out right here for us. I think I have, I, we have one more, but we used it to pick up some trash. Okay, oh no, you're good. I'm gonna, yeah, I, I just figured out, I'm gonna get you added to this file real quick. Hold on, okay, okay. no problem. I just realized I can put it in the tank, I appreciate it. I'm gonna put this in the bed of my truck. Oh yeah, yeah. Put bed. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I just put it in the back. I forgot, I always forget about that. I used to drive a pretty, I used to drive the Impala, so I'm not used to having like, you know, the bed to, to work with. Uh, I appreciate it, you know. Mm -hmm. I'll, no, I'll nice to meet you. What's your yeah, name? Nice I'm Officer Simmons, man. Yeah. So, Simmons? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, well, we might see you again in the next couple days. All right, man. Yeah, thank you for being really nice to yeah. us. Really appreciate it. From, we get really like asshole uh, cops that are mad. Because <laughs> we find, well, you know where Gary is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where, my, that that's around where I'm from. So I find, yeah. I probably found, ooh. Almost close to 50 out of this. Gary. Gary used to be a very And the very cops hate me. Place. I'm like, well, I can't bring a live firearm or potentially live firearm into a police station. I already yeah. got yelled at once. Hey, man, you're cleaning out the river, man. You know, that's what I say. <laughs> everyone everyone has their opinions. Everybody's doing their thing, too. I think it's cool. I'm sure, like, it makes great content, right? People probably want to see it. Everyone I know I would want to see it. So, yeah. you know. Well, check it out. Yeah. I gave you the card. Yeah, for sure. I got the card. I'll tell you. I'll yeah, you YouTube can find his there. channel there, too. He's uh, He actually, like I said, he's from Missouri. He goes more south than i do so hey let me ask yeah so do you guys need to be above to drop it down or is not it always way? oh okay. like right now from here when i found that it got stuck on the rocks so that's yeah. why we're gonna bring kayaks next time i was outward. just gonna say because there are a, a ton of freaking rivers and and lakes obviously in the forest reserve but you would probably need to figure out which ones you can get a boat on if, like if you can get your equipment out you know yeah no for sure but, but, so there is there there are other spots in this well, there's reserve. certainly more there's certainly more forest preserve lakes i just figured this would be a good it spot. would not be the first time either that i've heard of people because some people are just fishing and finding and they, they find you know here stuff. they fished in hand grenades on a I, fishing line <laughs> so but yeah i was gonna say that even just doing my regular job and got people you know tons of people come and fish so you have, had, different, have well, had someone pulling we, yeah we, we've had people pull stuff out of it, like you know any number of things out of the river uh that's crazy. before and they'll, they'll call us about it so uh you know particularly like in the early in the springtime early in the springtime right when so, everything moves around with the ice and yeah all that. but also because you would think that like well maybe that happened over the fall 
and then things froze up, and now people are out fishing again and they get stuff on. So I don't know. I'm not. I'm not time, right now is prime time for stuff moving around. That's right. Why we're that, that's that's what I was gonna say. So I would imagine because I've never had those calls. That's right, why we're like trying to find like summer. brand new spots no one's yeah. ever been to. Because like, you have a ton of people who come out to just. I mean, as soon as the weather kicks up above 70, yeah. you'll have. I mean, just a ton of people out. I fishing. can see how many people are just normal fishing here. We yeah. find lures all the time. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, got like eight or nine good ones we could probably use. Huh? Yeah. Uh, to that, I know that there's there's also a limitation on the type of lures that you got, so you're, or that you're able to use. And these like, I mean, the, the people who fish here know all the rules, but like, this one like, there's there's really no rules for magnet fishing yet. That's his. <laughs> That's his. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm about to say. Yeah, that? always always got a camera on the chest at yeah. least. But yeah, no, that's uh, insane. Like I said, there's, I'm surprised there's no rules for magnet fishing. The only state that's kind of empty is, was it, South Carolina? Yeah. Because they have lots of like historical stuff in the water. Yeah, I, I mean, I have never heard of anybody saying anything about whether or not you can magnet fish. Yeah. I would imagine if you create too much of a stir, just like anything else, they'll try to put some sort of rule. So you get a crowd, but you at might the same stop. time, But at the same time, like, like I said, you're getting stuff out of the water, man, so. Yeah, we like, also do like clean up days and we clean trash out of canals. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like that's like, I don't know, man. Nobody else is cleaning up the lake, so uh, even if you're finding stuff and making good content out of it, at the the what happened today was you fished something out of the water. So that could pen potentially solve anything, really. Right, that's what I'm saying. So like maybe that could be a one. homicide yeah. on it. Could just be yeah. a gun. And it could just you know it, right. If somebody we get the hands on it and you run it and you find out it's connected to something, it could bring closure to somebody who who has no closure. That's, so, that's, that's why we know, do this. Yeah. Yeah. So that was I, I you know I mean well you're not gonna get any hate from me. I love you know independent well, I'm glad. Content I'm glad. Creators, it's man. nice it's awesome. you, man. That's, that's what we love. Guys too, man. As the other two cops we met yesterday too, they were so nice. And I'm just yeah. like, man, it makes me want to come back and I'm about, say, probably, I'm about to say they probably find it as interesting as I do. So I was like, yeah, well, like I said, like, it's not something you see yeah. every day. No, not at all. No, and it's so all. small and it's just growing and growing and growing yeah. and it's just nice. No, that's cool. All right, man. All right, nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you guys. All right. Hey, can uh, we get a light show when you leave? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do gotta turn my truck around, so I got you. Hey Dan, it's the end of our episode. Was that one of the coolest cops ever? Dude, that's probably, I don't know, he might have beat Frizzle in Lake Station. I don't know, but dude, the cops over here are so nice. Even telling us we're doing a great job with what we're doing, and that's what I love to hear, guys. Uh, you guys tell us all the time, but hearing it from like a law enforcement officer after dealing with so many crappy officers, it, re it really hits the heart a lot, man. Like, it really does. Like, I got goosebumps right now from that, and it's warm out, so it's not the weather.